Okay, so I want to watch this this thing. I got this as a YouTube ad. I got this as an ad on YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just going to keep that up there so people can people know where to go. So um, Dr. Nate Favini. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> hilarious name. I don't know if anyone agrees. It seems like a name out of The Simpsons. I'm Dr. Nate Favini. Dr. Nate Favini's Miracle Penis Potion. Um, so this is this is an ad I got on YouTube, and it just it just made me laugh, and also made me, on a more serious note, I have it made me scared for the future of like healthcare under capitalism. So let's just watch this. Hi there, welcome to Forward. Forward is a new kind of doctor's office focused on preventive health and primary care. My name is Dr. Nate Favini. I'm the medical lead here at Forward, and I want. To- <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Just I'm Nate Favini. Welcome to the future of healthcare. In the future, all humans will be replaced with robots. So instead of healthcare, we will have mechanics. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about what to expect from your forward membership. So I'm here in one of our locations to show you. This is what we call our body scanner. Okay, for collects important. When I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to stream this. What the fuck? Okay, look, I get it. I get it. When you have to go to the doctor, you know, you have to get all these tests. I would rather they do each one. I have to weigh myself. Then I go over there and they measure how tall I am. Da, 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 take my socks off. All this shit. I would rather all that shit than, than this. The, <laughs> I don't want to step into a full body scanner. I'm not an Among Us character. I'm not an Among Us character, dude. I don't want to scan to prove I'm not an imposter. I'm Dr. Nate Favini. I'm not the imposter. See, I'm about to scan. Let's see if he scans. If he doesn't scan, he's he's not an, he's an imposter. But seriously, like this is creepy, and I'll, I'll tell you my more like serious point about it in a minute. Biometric information about you each time you're here at your visit. Uh, so that we can, you can share that with your doctor. So that way we can room. track you and we know exactly how much you weigh and where you are. And uh, <laughs> I sound like a conspiracy theorist, but like, come on, this is creepy. Oh, wait, how long until like Alex Jones talks about this? <laughs> you can track your progress against your health goals over time. Let me show you one of our exam rooms. This is really where your relationship with Forward and your doctor begins. Uh, You come in for what we call a baseline visit, which is how you start with us. And it's a really in-depth visit. where. Why does it just seem like there's something underneath the surface here with this guy? I don't know. With Dr. Nate, I'm just, I'm getting this weird vibe. Why is he like, why does he seem like he's like Loki the Riddler, like at at night? (laughs) Like at night, he puts on like a green suit and he's like, ha ha ha, Batman, you thought you could trick me? It's creepy, dude. And here's my point about it. This is where we're headed instead of universal health care. Rich people want their own fancy version of health care. This is like a commodified version of health care. The fact is, like, I don't. I don't know if this is really what what we what we are should be striving for is like the luxury of healthcare. Like they're literally making it seem like this is a luxury. Like this is luxurious healthcare. Well, I get it. Like, like if you have the money and you want to pay for, you know, something better or whatever, supposedly better, but this is not even, I don't see how this is going to be better because what it seems like is this is a corporation. They're going to hire a bunch of employees they're going to charge a lot for healthcare and they're going to make it seem really nice. And, you know, this is just going to become like a factory basically. I mean, it's, it, you're just, you know, with any big corporation, there's not very much of a level of like, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know if like, it seems like this is just going to turn into something that only the super rich can afford. And then, regular health care kind of gets abandoned because hey there's this and if you can't afford to pay for it well you should be working harder 
Work harder. I'm Dr. Nate Favini. Healthcare is not a human right. If you want to be taken care of, you should work harder. Really well and begin our continuous relationship with you. We're going to go deep on things like your current health issues, uh, as well as uh, preventive topics and lifestyle topics. We're going to talk about diet and exercise and sleep and stress uh, and really put together a customized okay. plan. Uh, <laughs> I can't focus on what he's saying because the thing behind him literally looks like like a Halo menu screen. <laughs> so one of the ways we actually take care of you here at Forward is we actually put you inside of a video game. So once you're inside the video game, we can kind of, you know, track you and get a feel for your body. We can kind of, you know, get in there and kind of mess around. We're going to mess around with your brain a little bit. I'm Dr. Nate Favini. Let me mess around with your brain. Let me put you in a video game. No, I don't know, man. He's he's making it seem really like, I mean, honestly, he's saying like, we're not just going to weigh you and measure you. We're also going to talk about diet, mental health, sleep. Bro, these are things that should be included with healthcare. These are things that we should already be focusing on. It shouldn't be a luxury where you have to pay extra for them to give a fuck about your diet or what you're eating. I don't know. Let's see. Let's honestly look. Let's. I'm going to watch the rest of this. I'm not going to pause it as much. Let's say let's actually see like if he pre presents something that's reasonably more like something that you could that that you would expect to pay more for that shouldn't just be included with regular healthcare. Helps you maximize your health today and prevent health conditions in the future. To inform that, we do things like look at your blood testing results, which we do right here on site, um, and really uh, look to at really get to know you in depth okay. by doing things like a like a complete physical exam. Why he lean in? Why did he lean in, he lean in like in that? By doing things like a like a complete physical exam. Complete physical exam. <laughs> I'm Dr. Nate Favini. Uh, and showing all of that to you on the screen here. So that you can every 30 seconds another child clicks on a steven are, crowder video uh, bro uh, don't forward. now that's just the beginning of your relationship with us after you leave from your baseline visit you have the forward app in the palm of your hand oh you there's an app and access to our care team you can message in with questions if any issues come up you can let us know about them and we can address them often via the app um and, uh, and you have an app okay. to your health problems that way We'll also use the app to check in with you proactively to see how you're progressing on your health goals. Now, after you've been working on those for, for a little while, we have you come back for a visit that we call our genetic. I feel like I'm being lured into, did you guys see my eyes glaze over? I feel like I'm being hypnotized. I'm being lured into the, I'm not, I'm Dr. Nate Favini. We're gonna check in with you, with your app. We're gonna check in proactively. I was like, that's, I was just like getting, like I was falling asleep. I was like, hmm. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. That sounds really nice, Dr. Nate Fabini. Mm, yeah, check in with me proactively. I'd appreciate that. <sighs> Dr. Nate Fabini, what a nice guy. <laughs> I was just getting lured to a soft sleep. I was... <laughs> And what we're doing in that visit is we're using your genetic information. Dr. Nate uh, if you've decided to share that with us. And we're using your genetic. Hold on. Whoa. On Wait a minute. Screen here. And what we're doing in that visit is we're using your genetic information. Uh, we're using your genetic. Okay, Zuckerberg, calm the fuck down. You want my genes now? Look, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist. All right. I know that genetic information can be very useful in the medical practice. But why do I need to give this fucking Zuckerberg, Elon Musk type of guy? Like this is, this is, this has the same vibes of Elon Musk. Like remember how we, when Elon Musk came along, it was like, oh, he's like a benevolent billionaire. He like cares about the world and he like, he's going to put his money into like things that are better. Like, you know, electric cars that could save the, the world. And oh my God, Elon Musk, he's kind of cool. But as we learned about him, we kind of realized like he's kind of a, creep he's kind of a like an inner he's like a 12 year old inside he like tweets memes all day and also like you know didn't he like call that guy a pedophile because he didn't want to use his little like submarine thing to save those kids in the cave and then like you know he he steals lithium or fucking gets it from slave labor in mines and then lithium itself is like actually really dangerous chemical that's bad for the environment too so it's like 
and you know he's a fucking dirty capitalist not to mention that you know wants to open his factory and not give a fuck about the the workers and the covid and da 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 i feel like that's the nate that's what nate we're getting with nate favini here is he's going to be like i i'm hell i i'm putting all my money into better healthcare for you and i i'm actually going to check in with you on an app and then <laughs> and give me your genetic information i have round glasses and I'm bald and I have a little beard and I speak in a soft voice. Will you give me your genes now? <laughs> I, I'm Dr. Nate Favini. I promise I won't clone you. Look into my eyes. This is the future. <laughs> if you've decided to share that with us and we're using it to give you even deeper insights. Okay, Dr. Nate Favini, you. you know, stop. Do some noise removal or something on your ears. Uh, we can look at things ears. like your risk of heart disease. Your Put your lapel mic cancer, uh, away your from your shirt. Diabetes in the future, and build even more customized, uh, even more personalized plans that address those risks. Uh, so that a if healthcare was more funded, you wouldn't have to have. If, you were monitoring if healthcare was more funded, you wouldn't have that be a luxury. The, the fact of your doctor spending more time with you and more time on personalized plans for your health. If healthcare was more funded and doctors and nurses were taking, listen, doctors might be fine, but nurses, those are like the laborers. Those are the working class of the healthcare industry. Nurses are people who get paid very little, do a lot of work and are stretched so thin because of you know, not being paid very well because their work is so hard. And because now with COVID, we're having an overload of patients that it has become a luxury to have your doctor or your nurse or your healthcare professionals actually spend time with you and talk to you and actually come up with a personalized plan. And now Dr. Nate Pavini here gets to step in and be like, hi, <laughs> isn't this nice? When your doctor actually talks to you, isn't that nice? Um, I want to six viewers. Hey, that's what's up. Well, welcome guys. What's up? All six of you. So I would like to look at some statistics for healthcare. Um, um, cumulative increases in health insurance premiums, workers contributions to premiums, inflation, and workers earnings. Nineteen ninety nine to twenty fifteen. Health insurance premiums, as you can see, this line right here, going way up, going up by about 50%, maybe every like five years. So workers' earnings down here have gone up by 56%. You know, premiums up 200%. Workers' contribution up 221%. So not only are premiums themselves up, but the, but the amount that workers are contributing to the premiums is 222%. 221%. Overall inflation, you can see that workers' wages, you know, barely keeps up with inflation. I think now at the stage where we are is workers are uh, wages are starting to not keep up with inflation. But in the midst of this pandemic, 500,000 people dead in this country. Hospitals are overloaded. Average nurse pay is $29 to $49 an hour, 50K a year, 87K a year. Okay. So, like, super underpaid for what they have to do. Nurses are having to perform triage. Billionaire wealth increased 1.3 trillion since mid March 2020, an increase of 44%. So, Dr. Nate Favini, <laughs> Dr. Nate Favini, hey, man. Coming in here, coming in with his Tesla healthcare. Dr. Nate Tavini's Tesla Halo menu screen healthcare. How long until you can go go to this guy and get yourself genetically modified CRISPR style? So, yeah, I don't know. Let's watch some bullshit, why don't we?